In this video, we're getting set up on QuickSwap. This is the Uniswap fork on layer two solution, Polygon, formerly known as Matic. Being a Uniswap fork on an L2 environment means extremely low fees, quick transaction times, whilst maintaining that Ethereum security. So in order to follow along with today's video, you're going to first and foremost need to know how to use MetaMask. If you don't know how to use MetaMask, come and check this video out down here. You're then going to need some Ethereum on that MetaMask account and some Matic tokens as well. Just like Ethereum is the gas of the Ethereum network, Matic is the gas of the Polygon network. Polygon is the leading L2 solution, taking some of the strain from Ethereum right now, and it looks like it is winning that L2 race. With Ethereum around $300 billion in market cap, could we potentially see a 10% capture of that market share by the leading L2 solution? We'll have to wait and see. But we do know that as the L2 environment improves, so will the dApps that are built on top of it, and the potential for network effects to develop really grows. So it's no surprise that a DEX protocol would take off and leading this race right now is QuickSwap. In the last 24 hours, it's gone from a price point of around $584 all the way up to $885. If we look at the price chart, it is pretty much parabolic and I wouldn't personally be buying something that's gone up just like that over the last few days. This token is farmable. So if you want to become a liquidity provider on QuickSwap, they actually reward you in the quick token. So that may be the best method for acquiring this right now. The QuickSwap exchange currently has 62 listed coins and 111 pairs all in all. It is permissionless, just like Uniswap. So the potential for this to really expand its offering is definitely there. I think it just takes some more commitment from various teams who are currently working on ETH only to come and migrate over to the Matic environment. So whilst not all your favorite coins may be on here at the moment, I do think we're gonna see this expand and expand rapidly off the back of this current success. So this looks rather familiar, just like Uniswap, seeing as it is a fork, it's no surprise. Now, to actually get using this, you need to connect your MetaMask to the custom RPC of the Matic network, which may sound a little bit complex, but it really isn't. Over on the Matic's docs page, they've got all the custom RPC information over here. However, when you go into QuickSwap and you press switch to Matic, it imports all the data automatically. So just log into your MetaMask and then press this button. It's then gonna ask you to allow this site to add a new network, the Matic network. You can view all the details within here and just double check them against the document, but do bear in mind the Block Explorer has now been updated to this one. You will then need to go ahead and press approve and then connect to the site. If you log into your MetaMask and you've got your Ethereum network actually connected, just press switch to Matic and then click on switch network. From here, we can now see the Matic network has been added. So now that we've got our network synced, we need to get some funds onto this L2 environment so we can play along. So what we need to do is actually bridge some funds over and we do this via wallet.matic.network. I'll leave this in the description down below and you just connect your MetaMask. Just sign the request and you get access. And now we have this web wallet showing us our Matic network balance. Note that once you do this and you've connected your wallet, it should give you a really small fraction of Matic so you have a bit of gas on that wallet. It did take over one hour for that to appear for me, so do bear that in mind. You may just be better off having Matic already on that MetaMask. Now we need to move our funds over, so we're gonna click the button by here. And in this example, I'm gonna transfer some Ethereum. So I'm gonna put over 0.1 ETH. If I click on transfer from here, it's gonna tell me it takes around seven or eight minutes. I'll press continue and continue again. It shows us the methodology, so using this POS bridge. And it says that if you wanna convert back from Matic to ETH, it may take up to three hours. So a bit of a slow process on the flip side. 
and then the estimated transaction fee is around $28. Note down the bottom here, it asks you to connect to the Ethereum mainnet. So currently I'm in MetaMask, but we're trying to process an ETH transaction. So we just need to flip back across. Then we can press continue once more and then pay that gas fee. So this is gonna take a little while to go through. So in the meantime, I wanna show you how to add custom tokens to your Matic account. There's two ways we can actually search for the custom tokens. You can go to their main explorer and then tap in the relevant coin. So for example, let's go on to TrustSwap. They've already migrated over to the Matic network. And from here, the contract address is at the top. You can just copy that easily. If we go back into the Matic network here, add a token and then press custom token and we can paste that in. That then allows you to add that custom token. We can now see we have TrustSwap on there. On this block explorer, it's only gonna show you tokens that are currently in use on the network. However, many more tokens have actually been mapped over. So this is a process where they map an ERC20 address and create a Matic compatible version. So I'm gonna add reserve rights. Gonna click that from the list here that I've searched for and then find the Matic address and then copy it. I'm then gonna add it to the quick swap interface, select a token or paste an address. RSR has now been found, I can add that. However, as there's no current liquidity pool for this, if I want to actually trade some RSR, it's not possible. As you see, there's insufficient liquidity for the trade. And so I'll add that one to my account as well there. So that should give you a good feel of how to actually add custom tokens. Again, I'll leave a link to this mapper page down below in the description. So my 0.1 ETH has now gone through. Bear in mind, you are gonna pay an Ethereum gas fee. So it was around $22 for that transaction to go through. So if you wanna stick some funds over onto Matic, onto the L2, I would suggest doing a sizable amount that you want to actually trade with, as you don't want to be stung with the ETH fees too many times. After all, this is the reason why we're migrating over to QuickSwap. So now over on QuickSwap, we need to switch to the Matic network. And from here, we can see our balances. We've got 0.001 Matic and 0.1 ETH. As I mentioned, those Matic just automatically populated in my account after about an hour from when I connected my wallet to this Matic web wallet. So if I wanted to make a trade on QuickSwap now, like on Uniswap, we have to approve the transaction. Typically when I do this on Uniswap, it costs me around $7. On here, the transaction fee is 0.000049 Matic. So this comes in at less than a penny, so literally next to nothing. And then when it comes to performing the swap, the gas fee is 0.00026. And so again, that is under one penny. Then if I pop onto Uniswap, connect to the Ethereum mainnet, you will see that the same transaction, 0.05 Ethereum to Aave, is a cost in gas of $96.38. So there we have it. That's how we interact with the Matic network via MetaMask. We bridged some funds from ETH to Layer 2 and showed how to swap on QuickSwap with next to no fees. This makes it thousands of times cheaper than using Uniswap, and so I believe we will see a real surge of usage on the QuickSwap DEX and the Matic network. I think it's just a matter of time whilst we see this get built out. Now, if you wanna see further tutorials on QuickSwap, comment down below what you would like to see next. Do you wanna see some yield farming and being an LP, and how we go about earning some of those QuickSwap tokens? If you're new here and you got value from today's content, make sure you subscribe and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye.